Hello. Welcome back to Human Health with another topic. If you wonder how exercise affects your body then in this video, we look at how your body reacts to exercise and what each of these things means. The fact is exercise has a lot of effects on the body and often people don't realize some of the amazing benefits it can have both on your mind and body so let's clarify some of these points by looking at ways your body changes when you start working out exercise improves your brain health strengthens muscles and improves your ability to do everyday activities if you are new to exercise, it is important to start slowly and gradually increase the amount of exercise you do over time. When you exercise, your body undergoes a number of changes. These changes are designed to help you adapt to the stress of exercise and to improve your overall fitness. Number 1 is Muscle Soreness. You feel sore when you do exercise, at first, it hurts and a lot of people feel discomfort and soon give up. But it's important to push through and not let the initial soreness stop you. Over time the soreness will reduce as your body adapts and grows stronger. With the soreness reducing and thus, making exercise feel significantly more comfortable. This soreness is caused by microscopic tears in the muscle fibers. These tears are actually a good thing, as they stimulate the growth of new muscle tissue. And repair. Rebuild which is how muscle growth happens. Number 2 You Grow Mitochondria. Exercise increases the number of mitochondria in your cells. Mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell and are used to convert compounds from food into energy which is then used by the muscles in your body. So in effect, mitochondria help you get the energy to your muscles helping you feel more active and energetic. Some of the known benefits of exercise. In general. When you do exercise your mitochondria need to produce more energy in less time due to the physical activity. Which in turn results in your body. Starting to grow more mitochondria in your cells. Research shows that you could have as many as 50% more mitochondria in your body after just 6 to 8 weeks of regular exercise. Number 3 Your heart rate slows. The more often you do cardiovascular exercise, the better your heart gets at trying to keep up meaning that it finds it more comfortable and therefore, pumps at a slower rate. This is because of your left ventricle becomes larger over time and therefore as a result your heart becomes more efficient at pumping blood through your body meaning that it must perform fewer contractions to move the same blood supply Therefore, your resting heart rate or the rate your heart beats when you aren't exercising decreases. And because of this, it doesn't have to undergo as much strain. Researchers believe that this effect is part of what makes cardiovascular exercise so good for your heart health in the long term. A lower resting heart rate is a sign of good cardiovascular health. 
Number 4 is Hormonal Changes. Exercise can cause changes in your hormone levels. For example, exercise can increase the levels of testosterone and growth hormone, which can help to build muscle and improve strength. Exercise can also increase the levels of endorphins, which are hormones that have mood-boosting effects. Number 5. Brain Function Your brain chemistry changes when you exercise. Your brain chemistry changes quite a lot. Exercise has a positive effect on the brain. It can improve cognitive function, memory, and mood. As such as you release serotonin a neurotransmitter associated with feelings of well-being and happiness, and a lower risk of depression. Exercise also releases compounds that make it easier for the brain to form neuronal connections improving performance and cognitive function. Due to these changes, exercise can help prevent mental health disorders, such as anxiety and depression as well as helping a person manage symptoms of major diseases like Improve cardiovascular health. Increase energy levels. Weight loss or maintenance. Increased bone density. Improved balance and coordination. Improved quality of life. Improving mobility and increasing independence. Different types of exercise are there. Which include. Aerobic exercise. Aerobic exercise is any type of exercise that gets your heart rate up and your blood flowing. Examples of aerobic exercise include running, swimming, biking, and dancing. Strength training. Strength training is any type of exercise that helps to build muscle. Examples of strength training include lifting weights, using resistance bands, and doing bodyweight exercises. Flexibility exercises. Flexibility exercises help to improve your range of motion. Examples of flexibility exercises include yoga, pilates, and tai chi. Balance exercises. Balance exercises help to improve your balance and coordination. Examples of balance exercises include standing on one leg, walking heel to toe, and tai chi. So make sure to exercise because as you can see it has a significant effect on the body and mind. And has a huge benefits for your well-being do you exercise regularly. Have you noticed these effects in your body? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.